Hello and join me for this restoration of this lovely 1960s Austrian wool coat. I came across this coat at Trove Vintage Boutique in Seattle. Overall it's in beautiful condition and has some cool details. It has these buttons, green piping that define the pockets and the front edge of the jacket. Love how it defines the lines. It is 100% wool and you'll see here on the inside it has a nice paisley lining and a union made tag which I always appreciate. However, when I left the shop I did notice after I bought it that there were some holes in the wool in a few spots as you'll see underneath the collar, on the sleeve, and at the bottom. So I first thought that I might return the jacket, but I decided instead to buy a felting kit to use the needle in order to felt parts of the jacket. So I have some of my supplies here. My first place I decided to source wool from might be inside of the pocket, but I decided that I didn't want to reduce the amount of wool in there for my hands when I was trying to keep them warm. So I instead found some an inner seam that was open and I pulled wool from there and I just pulled out some little tufts that came out pretty easily. There you see my felting needle and some of the wool I've accumulated. So once I got enough wool, which really wasn't that much, I put it over the biggest spot and just tried a little bit of time poking it in and then worked it in with my felting needle slowly and I tried to secure it into the fabric as you saw before there was kind of some stitching to hold it in so I was trying to poke it through that to attach it to it and then also kind of create the texture and flatten it back into the jacket to form it kind of as part of the rest of the wool layer. The felting needle you see here is larger than a regular needle. It has grooves on the sides that help it catch the fibers and I got this one at Daiso. So here I was both trying to secure it in and then start creating some texture. I was a little nervous about making too tight of a texture. I didn't want it to look weird and different from the rest of the jacket. So as I was doing this, I could feel it kind of stabbing through different layers of the fabric and poking the interior lining, that paisley lining you saw earlier. Uh, so I was a little careful to not stick the needle in too, too far, but to still get it through that layer of the woven fabric. And I did want to show you this in real time. So even though I have a blip there, you have a sense of how long it took me to do this process. Didn't want to cut anything out, wanted to show it as it happened. So there you see it's starting to come together and starting to look like the rest of the wool fabric. So there it was in the beginning, and that is after the felting. So it's pretty hard to tell where it even was. Here was another little hole. There was one at the base. And it's hard to see there, but a tiny one. The collar. And there's after. Those spots were repaired. And they did blend super well. We were pretty impressed. So it was actually hard to find them to film again. Wasn't super happy with the texture right here, so we went back and I tried to change the directionality of how the, that wool was sitting. And here's kind of the final of the bottom. And I do want to go back and maybe touch up a little bit of that a little more, but overall it's much better. And there you have it, the final project. It's looking fresh and new. I had already dry cleaned this prior to the restoration so that any 
extra handling wouldn't affect the outcomes. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. All right, thanks for joining us. And here's a sneak preview of the 1960s dress I'll be talking about next time and how I removed pen marks, rust stains, and fixed the beading on it. Join me for that.